what's going on guys welcome to a new video today so actually this is the first video that i will be doing on a new series of where i talk about um things that will improve your art in general so if you're an artist and you're trying to improve your art and trying to learn how to become a better artist i would definitely advise you to look and subscribe to the channel because it is something i've been focusing on and have been working on in the background um and wanted to start releasing these videos for you guys to get um get help you guys develop within your journey of becoming a better artist on today's uh episode we'll be talking about a video we'll be talking about uh certain things that you should be using as an artist that will help and improve your art um pretty quick and i mean i think we're talking about when when i'm talking about that i'm talking about materials and i do understand that we don't all have um, money for it so it's all sometimes these these things are a little bit expensive i'm looking i'm uh, looking for another things here are expensive um, but it's always good to start from knowing exactly uh, what to buy so you don't have to spend the money unless you really want to obviously uh, so uh, for me just to give you a little bit of background um, I've been an artist since I was in small uh, since I was basically eight years old I always enjoyed drawing uh, dinosaurs I enjoyed uh, drawing graffiti letters mark the first gig Per se that I had was in middle school um, where we actually uh, would have an art class um, but I would try different graffiti fonts and eventually ended up doing graffiti names um, for people and I would get paid five bucks for me to do a particular graffiti name uh, so I wish I actually had those um, graffiti or I would have taken pictures of that because it would have been cool to see how how bad or how good I was at that stage in my life um, but unfortunately, I don't have any of that. Uh, but to be honest with you guys, that is kind of where I started my passion for art started. Um, there was so many years I took high school art here in the States uh, for three years, ended up doing the AP test and all that. After that, um, my love for art went to shit, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, because I hated art after that. Um, I more so like drawing art, uh, art that has to do with pop art. Uh, if you can see here, Trunks, anime, um, here we have sports art, here we have comic art, and here we have more of anime art. So for me, I enjoy anime, I enjoy um, pop art, I enjoy anything that has to do with comics and illustration, that's what I enjoy. Uh, so they, when I was in high school, that's, I didn't draw, draw any of that. It was all about architecture, it was all about um, drawing from real life, which is the best way you can learn how to draw, but when all, all you're doing is that it comes it becomes kind of boring to be honest but but yeah guys uh that's kind of my little background about um art uh so let's start off with the first uh material that i think is very important and that's pencils so this is going to be something about pencils that i truly had to go through trial and error and, and everyone can tell you the two pencil is the best way you can start the two pencil is the is the um foundational i guess uh, the foundational pencil you can use anywhere um, that's the one that you use in school if you have to fill in the circles i don't know if they still do this type of test at school but they always tell you to, to to use so i mean the graphic for that is okay it's not bad um but it does smear quickly if you try to uh, shade it in it smears quickly for me guys i actually have invested in different tools so if you want to use the same tools that i use for my art here are here they go so I use a 0.3 pencil right here, so I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, so this is what I actually use to do my lines for my comic art, uh, for anything that has to do with pencils. I, I use this to do my cross action because it gives me good control and it does give thin lines. The lead on this is HB, so um, I actually, the HB is not as um, thick or as, as dark of the line, so it's easier for you to erase. Um, but if you're someone that likes to really see those um, strokes or that cross hatching on your pencil work, I would say go, go to the 2H or go a little bit, um, go to the 2H or go a little bit to the to the, to the the higher H's, you know, uh, because they have B's and they have 2H, but 2H will actually be a good, um, a good, kind of foundational if you're used to working with that but for me i go to hp it's perfect for me the lines are not bad uh, because i'll do i'll also do my inking on my on my art 
uh, so I also don't don't like the kind of the smear effect of it uh, so this is the pencil that I use again 0.3 graph gear 500.3 uh, lead um, for the actual for the actual um, I, I guess said the figure drawing and all of that I use graph gear 1000 um, the actual price for this was I think about 10 bucks. So this is a bit of expensive pencil, uh, but I like it because the feel for it, when I draw, I, I grab my pencil like this. I know you shouldn't, you shouldn't grab it like this because it has developed some calluses on my middle finger. Um, you're supposed to do it like this. I learned this from actually, if you, if you Google, um, now if you go on YouTube and actually um, Neil Adams, um, late Neil Adams, uh, I believe he passed away this year. Uh, he actually shows how to grab a pencil or a pen or a brush so you're supposed to grab it like this so you can do it like this but i grab it like this i mean most of us i think we ended up being raised grabbing it like this um so i mean that's why i got this shit right here but but yeah i use this one with the lead with the red lead um and the red lead because i just like how the look of it i mean that's a preference thing so i like the red um and blue lead so if you see um, for myself, when I looked up on comic artists and see why they actually do this, um, there's not a real reason for it, it's just a preference. Um, to be honest with you, I kind of like the, the feel for it uh, when you do your figure drawing with this and then on top you do your pencils and then you, you add your inks. It kind of leaves that, that, that gradient of, of that initial kind of figure drawing at the bottom because it doesn't always um, completely erase. Uh, and I kind of like the, the, the view of it, how it looks, the, t the, the touch of it adds that extra touch of your own style to it. Uh, so uh, that's the two pencils that I currently use. And these are like my go-to all the time. I have another one that all comic artists use. I don't even know where it is though. Uh, but, it's, oh here it is. So I use this one as well um statler mars technical with a two um with a 2h lead and i saw that jim lee uses this one so just keep in mind so if you're an artist that draws traditionally this is what this is for all this art that i'm gonna use for this video is traditional um tra uh, i'm sorry traditional things that you can add to your toolbox so you can become a better artist so this in itself also about ten dollars um the good thing about this and the thing that i like the most about this is the fact that you can get this particular um and you can actually sharpen your lead and it becomes very much sharpened quickly so i don't know if you can see it, it becomes sharpened pretty quickly and i like this because it gives it gives a really good feel to your uh, cross section lines um and also the fact is that the lead for this one um you can buy a a actual package of the lead uh that you can i mean this one i, th it's, I think it tells you here what type of, of so this is a hb and it's a german lead so i'll actually and it's also the brand of statler i believe yeah i believe it's the same um lead as this one so i'll put it on the link or on the on the actual video so you can take a look at what i'm referring to if you're interested but a lot of comic artists use this um a lot of people that actually do excuse me do, do traditional art and pencil work they use this and it's pretty beneficial is because i didn't notice how much of a difference the lead makes um to be honest this one when you draw it doesn't smear uh so you don't have all that all those um kind of like smear drawings when you don't necessarily have to use like a, a sheet of paper to block where you have just drawn because this usually doesn't smear unless you crazy like you literally just press very hard on your on your paper and you create very very dark and repetitive work on shades um but other than that it doesn't do that now let's go to erasers which is only two erasers that i have um and it's these two erasers have really changed um how i've created the whites on my art pieces so it's this one for the bigger it's inexpensive this one is for the bigger areas and i like this because i have control over it compared to just the block of eraser i use this 
and it's like a pencil so I'm, I, I'm able to control where I want to do it even for bigger areas um, and usually I don't go any bigger than than this this is the biggest that I go this is 11 by 17 Bristol board um, and currently I wanted to share this one since it is the World Cup I'm working on this so this is what I'm working on right now um, these are piece right here uh, which is Messi and Ronaldo uh, fifth World Cup um, homage so this is what I'm working on right now but that's usually the biggest that I go to with drawing unless um, I'm doing a big canvas which is a whole different uh, thing that I in a whole different process in itself uh, but when I do just traditional draw art this is the biggest I go to 11 by 17 which is usually uh, the size of a comic board comic book board or comic page if you're interested in doing that as well but the two erasers I use, like I stated, I use this one, so you can kind of tell. I don't know if you can see the name of it. And then this one for the thinner and the highlight sometimes is Almano Zero by Tombo. So you can kind of see that as well. So yeah, I mean, for erasers that's simple. Uh, sometimes you can also use um, this one right here, uh, which is a um, fine point pen tail. This is actually, um, what is, what is this thing called? Uh, it's called Whiteout, I'm sorry. Just, I went blank for a second, but yeah, Whiteout. So Whiteout, um, this is actually also like a pen. Um, I've seen Jim Lee use this, it's very helpful um, for creating highlights, um, creating splatters as well, or just creating that, um, those, like if you're doing rain, this is cool to use uh, because you can create the rain, uh, the rain thing. Um, or you can just go ahead and just put put this on a, on the corner of a, a thick paper and just splatter it on your art piece, just like how I did to get this effect. Basically, you can see, so you can kind of get this effect is what I use for this. So you see the the effect right here is what I use that for. So I mean, it's cool. It's all, it's, but it's honestly just your preference. So last but not least, I wanted to use and uh, talk about the inks because inks and pens are very important um, when you do traditional art. And I think that uh, unless, I used to be just an artist that drew just um, pencil work, uh, but as I've gotten older, I think that you also have to learn and kind of step your game up and learn how to ink in a bit. Um, because if you don't ink, it kind of leaves your, your, your word to someone else. And then if you leave your work to someone else, then I mean, it doesn't always come out like you want it to. Uh, but I only use three different ones. And I know this is me just cutting it, cutting my palette. There's so much pens out there. Um, and I kind of tried a lot of them, but these are my three go-to all the time. So it's the Micron, the Micron brand. I literally bought these pens like for years. This is my go-to Micron and they're, the main reason I'm buying them is because they're inexpensive, to be honest with you. You only buy, um, pay about $2 here in the US, $2 to $2.50, depending where you go and get them from. And this one are one of the new ones that I've actually started using a lot. The reason I like these is because you can easily fill a lot of areas that you need to use black on pretty fast. Uh, you can also create easy uh, line work. If you learn how to do line work with this, you're gonna get better at your line work. There's no way, there, there's no outs about that because it is a brush. It is harder to kind of uh, have control over it. But if you learn how to do this, and, and the only way you're gonna learn is by using it. You are going to have to spend about seven to 10 bucks depending where you are in the country, but they are worth it. Um, I definitely enjoy these pens a lot. Um, I usually buy about three of them every time I go to the art store here. Um, in Texas so I'm telling you it's worth your investment and you're gonna like them you're gonna like if you do traditional art if you do comic art this is gonna be a go-to all the time and these I just started using these because they're freaking expensive um, but this is the copy multi-liner so this one is a point one and I actually had no idea that these existed I use copy markers um, but I try to get a, a stay away from them because they're so expensive but this copy marker um, multi-liner is, is like the legit. 
like your lines and the, the gradient from when you erase over it, it's always gonna stay the same. It stays consistent. And you can do very thin lines with it and quick lines that I that you can't do with a point one with this one. For whatever reason with a point one on with the with the micron, they're a little bit thicker. But this one is like they're thinner than that and it just like makes it look easier um, with your cross hatching or whatever the case might be. So now that we did these three, I want to go into color because color 